Hello and a warm welcome to this five minute reflection from St George's Anglican Church Paris. Did you know that today is World Thinking Day? Uh, I didn't. World Thinking Day is um, a girl guiding uh, invention uh, founded in 1932 at a conference uh, in Poland. Today, the 22nd of February, was chosen because it's the joint birthdays of the founders uh, of uh, guiding and scouting. Over the years, girl guides um, have thought today about some pretty big themes. They're not shirkers. In 2007, it was discover your potential by taking the lead, growing friendships and speaking out. In 2009, it was the sixth UN Millennium Development Goal, stop the spread of AIDS, malaria and other diseases. In 2011, it was the third Millennium Goal, empowering girls will change our world. And in 2012, it focused on the environment. Huge topics to think about for a day. It might feel a bit tokenistic, um, uh, but the day is about much more than simple consciousness raising, uh, even uh, than the fin financial contribution made by guides around the world. In the 1970s, Olaf Lady Baden-Powell uh, wrote this about Thinking Day. Far greater than the financial success is the spiritual impact of Thinking Day. During the 24 hours of 22nd of February, these kindly, generous thoughts are being thrown out into the ether by guides who care personally about the preaching of love and goodwill in the world. And these thoughts and prayers are concentrated thus as a live force for the developing of friendship and understanding for which all peoples are longing. Though you cannot visit sister guides in France or Finland, in Austria or Australia, in Italy or Iceland, Canada or Chile, Ghana or Guatemala, USA or UAR, you can reach out to them there in your mind. And in this unseen, unspiritual way, you can give them your uplifting sympathy and friendship. Thus do we guides, of all kinds and of all ages and of all nations, go with the highest and best towards the spreading of true peace and goodwill on earth. Good stuff. Uh, and I think um, a, a really powerful modern take uh, on the sentiments expressed by the writer uh, of the letter to the church at Philippi. Uh, chapter 4, verse 8. Finally, beloved... Whatever is true, whatever is honourable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. It's not intercessory prayer here, but I think um, it's a really good foundation, along uh, with mindfulness, uh, to allow God uh, to do great things through us. My French paper today published a report. France is way out ahead, but unfortunately um, it's in gloom, morosité. From February 2020 to February 2021, we jumped from 22% to 34% of those polled feeling uh, gloomy. Uh, we're way ahead of the Germans, who've only managed 14%, and um, the UK is on 16%. It's perhaps not the sort of poll we want to be world beaters in. Joking apart, uh, there's a lot to be gloomy about these days. But for us as Christians, we need to hold on to the fact that we are a people of hope, not of opt optimism, and we are a people of joy, not just jollity. Our hope is in God, who will not desert us, and who loves us with an unconquerable purpose and passion. So during these difficult days, let's each of us resolve as far as we are able not to allow our thoughts 
to be selfish, frightened or gloomy, but to think and to think, not annually or monthly or even weekly, but daily, deliberately and regularly, on the love of God. Go well.